Hi everyone, today we're back landscaping. We got rained out. With rain in the forecast today, we're going to be doing some shop work and picking up some new things. I'm at the shop here today and I gave most of the guys a day off here so that they are enjoying it while I'm going to be working on some of the machines. I've been sharpening the blades this morning here. I finished up on the John Deere walk behind. Next up is the X mark uh, walk behind here. We'll get out the angle grinder and let's get the blades sharpened. Like always guys, there's a full mods list link down below. And if you end up enjoying today's video, help me out by hitting the like button. All right, we should be all set there with that here. Let's get to the uh, jack uh, lower down here, but I, I'm gonna look to see if they sell like a custom jack or something. Uh, I think it's a lot safer uh, than just going to be using this car jack here, but we should be all set with the mowers and that John Deere, we just put new blades on it. So we are good to go. Next week, we'll be putting new blades on. So every other week I put new blades and then I sharpen them uh, so we get a little bit more uh, uh, usage out of them here. Now, I do want to grease a few of the skid sears. It's going to be the bobcat here. So we'll use a grease. We want to make sure that the arm is all ready to go. And also down here, uh, there's a lot of dirt and uh, debris that gets in here. So we should be all set with that one. We'll next up do the ACV. There and there is all set and then it's just uh, back here. Awesome, so we got both those greased. Now, we actually have to head on over to the dealer. Today, guys, we're trading in our Ford F-450 dump truck. It's time for a change and to improve the business and to be more efficient. I think I found the right truck and it is another F-450, which is pretty cool. But it is uh, pretty <laughs> unique here. You guys might be asking Square, what do you buy? I bought a F450 Switch and Go, and you guys can see the dealer dropped off a few of them already. We have a flatbed, we have the big dump uh, bed for it, and we also have a mason uh, dump body for it, which is super exciting. I've been uh, looking forward to a Switch and Go here in Farm Sim, and we finally have it, and I can't wait uh, for it and to use it with a business. We're at the dealer and they have it right out front here for us. So here it is guys, our new truck here. It's a 2024 F450 XLT with that 6.7 liter power stroke. So we are upgrading from the gas 7.3 to the diesel, which will be perfect. We got the plow mount. This is gonna make a really good plow truck. But as you guys can see the switch and go, this is the Mason dump body on it, which is sweet. So basically, this is kind of a roll off here. The entire bed rolls and you could actually drop it on the ground to switch the uh, dump bodies, which is so, so cool. Why don't we hop on the inside here? We'll take a look at it. Now this a dealer fully equipped it with strobe lights and everything like that. So that's great for plowing. That's great for uh, parking on the side road and so many different things here. But I want to show you guys this because like I mentioned, this is so cool. So it functions as a regular dump truck, as you guys can see, we could dump and unload material, which uh, is sweet, but here is where this thing shines. Like I mentioned, it is a roll off, uh, so we could switch out the uh, dump beds and we could also uh, load pallets and machines in it if we wanted to not use a trailer, uh, which is pretty cool. So you guys can see that goes all the way down and you can uh, do that, which is awesome. Well guys, let's head on back to the shop. Now there's a few other things I really do like. The extra toolboxes is gonna be super helpful for us uh, to have some miscellaneous tie down straps, things like that. Now I did get some fender flares. I noticed that on these bigger trucks, the uh, rocks and stuff really uh, fly up and we don't wanna be uh, damaging any other cars going down the side of the road here. But let me know guys, what do you think of the new switch and go? And if we end up liking this, I do want to see if we could buy maybe a F650, a a maybe a Chevy 5500 as well to get another uh, one of these, but a little bit of a bigger a body and a frame on a truck here. But this is so cool. I also really do like this red. Uh, I believe this was, I, I think, ruby red from Ford. It is a sweet looking color. 
we're going to be making a pretty big purchase today and it is to help expand the business here you guys see we have skid sears and a mini excavator but we needed a bigger excavator the last several weeks here and at times we also needed a bigger almost a, a mini front loader or even a full size front loader so i came up with a solution we're going to be buying a cat backhoe here the backhoe should work for the excavation and uh for when we need a bigger front loader and we could use it for winter so I'm going to have one of the employees drop us off at the dealer. We're at the John Deere and Cat dealer here and they have it right out front. I decided to go with the Cat 430E uh, backhoe here. Now you guys might be asking Square, why don't you have a truck and trailer? Because this is street legal here. I got a plate on the back so we'll be able to drive this to job sites. And luckily our shop is only a few uh, blocks down the road. Now with this I decided to do a few different things here. I wanted a bucket that we could also have a pallet fork for loading and I decided to go with the thumb on the excavator and uh, a bucket with teeth here so this is a really cool configuration not only will we be able to use this for excavation and dirt work we are going to be using this all winter long with a big snow pusher up front so this is definitely the right purchase here for us but this thing looks sweet and uh, we are all set here I got a caterpillar hat which is pretty cool every time I buy a new machine I always get a hat I have a pretty cool collection just because of all the different things we've owned This season, guys, the landscaping business has been doing really well here. We've been growing, and we've been doing a lot of jobs, which is great to see here. And it's been a lot of fun so far bringing the camera along here, growing the business, and having fun doing it. Now there's a few more things we have to do. One of the uh, equipment trailers, one of the guys said that there was a nail in the tire. So I'm going to have to look at that and see exactly which tire it is because we want to get that repaired. Now let's see. I really would like to put the new purchase inside the shop because this is super expensive and I like to keep everything out of the weather. Oh yeah, this is going to fit no problem. A little bit of rearranging uh, later on today and we'll have plenty of room. Now guys, we have to uh, get one of the trucks and trailers. We have to head over to another dealer to pick up a few new zero turns. We're going to be taking the GMC AT4 and this is like a 35 plus minute drive here uh, to the other side of town. So it is a pretty big distance here for us. But with the lawn care business guys, we have picked up so many accounts and a lot more commercial here. So we need some bigger zero turns and that is what we're picking up today. Today's video is kind of behind the scenes here, picking up some new equipment, just doing miscellaneous things around the shop, which is pretty cool. I really want to give you guys as realistic content as we can, and I've been waiting to make so many purchases, just really haven't had the time to sit at the dealers, do all the paperwork, go through all the specifications on the machines, and today's that day, uh, so when it rains, we always have work to do either in the office or in the shop. Thinking about it, since we're on this side of town, I'm actually going to go give four or five quotes that came in over last week here. That way, I get several things done and don't have to make a trip over here. But we are expanding our service areas, taking on more jobs here. But we're here at the dealer. Let's see if they have them out front. Oh yeah, look at that. Both the new mowers are ready to go for us. You guys might be asking Square, what did you purchase here? We bought a new John Deere a Zero Turn. This is a 84 inch deck. This is going to be our biggest mower for a lot of our bigger properties here. And I bought a Skag Cheetah 72 inch with a diesel engine. I really do prefer the diesels here. And uh, 72 inch is what we needed here. So let's get both these up on the trailer. This is going to be a tight fit with two big zero turns on this 18 foot trailer. Let's see, it's going to be a close one, but sweet. Look at that, we were able to make it fit. That is really good to see. I was almost thinking we might have to buy a bigger utility trailer soon, but that is awesome. And we'll get it folded up here, but I'm going to go inside and uh, go get a skag and deer hat. Well guys, I think that's pretty much it for today. I'm going to be off to going to give a few quotes here. I believe one is for some uh, work in the yard. The other one 
is potentially another uh, weekly lawn care climb. But hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Super exciting getting some new machines and doing some shop work. Until next time, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and subscribe for more.